Dear friends of Benson, I'm Fred Wang and today is 19th November of 2020. Today we are at our training site for pyrolysis. What we have here are 5 sets of 12 tons per day pyrolysis units. In total, 60 tons per day in capacity. The raw materials we are taking are oil sludges. Let's take a look inside. Now we are in the plant. You can see all of our five machines are lined up one by one. The pyrolysis machine we have consists of mainly three parts. The reacting system, the condensing system, and the dusting system. In our case, only the reacting system is inside the warehouse. The other two systems we located outside for good. Now let me explain the process in detail. Let's first start with feeding. The feeding is done by a crane dropping materials into the hopper. The hopper is connected with the auto screw feeder feeding into the reactor. The feeding process will take about one hour. Then after that, we will start the burner for preheating. The preheating process will take about two hours when the reactor temperature reaches to 180 degrees, that's when the reaction will begin. This reactor can be fueled by diesel, LPG, natural gas, or of course pyrolysis oil. Your friends, what we have here is the feeding. Now we are feeding the oil sludge into the system. It is done by the crane taking a tonnage bag and dropping into the hopper we have. And after the hopper is connected with the auto screw feeder, it will feed into the system. Once the reaction starts, the oil gas will be generated from the reactor. Then it will first arrive at the manifold. The manifold is to separate the heavy elements from the lead oil gas. Then it will be reserved into the oil slot tank. You can see how it looks from here. Well, the light oil gas will travel to the next part. That is the condensing system. The condensing system we have are the vertical condensers. From here, we have three condensers with two oil tanks for each unit of machine. From here, the oil gas will be condensed and liquefied. The oil will be reserved into the oil tank. It will be later transported into a bigger tank like this. After the condensing, we still have some non-condensable gases left. We call it syngas. The syngas will first come to the hydrocell. This hydrocell is to use to purify the gas also to prevent the backfire from happening. Then the syngas will be direct back to the furnace to be burned as a heating source. The utilization of the syngas makes this system self-sufficient and environmental friendly. The pooling water circulation of all five machines are supplied from here, this pooling water pump. The cooling tower we have here can process water of 80 cubic meters per hour. Here we are at our oil sludge area. These oil sludge are coming in, in tanks in the form of liquid. We also have oil sludge coming in, in the tonnage bag that is in the form of solid. Our system takes the material regardless of its forms. The oil yield of such is normally around 30 to 40 percent. If you can send some samples to us, we would love to test it out for you. After the reaction, the system will get put down. Then the carbon black from the reactor will be discharged through our auto cooling discharger. It will then be reserved into the ash tank. The carbon black will be later used for asphalt, cement, or brick industries. We also have a big ash tank to collect carbon black from multiple units. 
Then, when the truck comes, we will put the carbon black into tonnage bags and transport it out. What we have here is the waste combustion chamber. It is to burn out the surplus gas that generated from the system that we cannot use. This is one of the most important safety factors that is for the operation. Also, from the tower itself, the deducting system is included. At last, we arrive at our deducting system. The deducting system is to treat the hot smoke generated from the process. In our case, we built this one huge deducting tower to serve the five, all five units of machines. It includes the flue condensers, the different filters, and also the water spray. Only after treatment, the exhaust can be released without a problem. Thank you all so much for taking this tour with me. If you are looking for a business of so profitable, so lucrative like this, do not hesitate to contact me. I'm Fred Wong. I work for Best Machinery. Thank you.